We would like to congratulate this TV. They are doing a great job in terms of um, showing the world what other people are doing and how the world can join other people. We would like to pledge our support to this TV and encourage you to do more in order to make the world a better place. I wish you night celebrations as you celebrate your fifth anniversary. Thank you. Hello cheerful viewers and welcome to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. On today's programme, we'll continue to celebrate Supreme Master Television's fifth anniversary by presenting the conclusion of our two-part series featuring highlights from the past year's shows. The entertaining animal we enjoyed meeting was the 28-year-old tortoise Florida, who can sit, roll over, shake a paw and heal. In fact, Florida would make a great fit in the canine family. Wouldn't you agree? I'd say he's quite gifted. You may not believe it, but Florida can do tricks. Let's do sit, high fives, give me a shake over here, that's it, up here, good boy, wave. That's it. Around. And stop. In addition to Florida, we met many other highly intelligent animals, such as Jesse the fantastic Jack Russell Terrier, who knows over 200 tricks, including how to skateboard. When he was nine weeks old, he taught himself how to sit up like he'd sit up like a little, like a little otter wanting, for, wanting food. So ever since then, I'm like, oh, he's really smart. So then we just started teaching him the basics. And then when he was a year old, he really got into it and started learning more advanced tricks, like walking on his front paws and weave walking and all that. We also had the privilege of visiting telepathic animal communicators who shared their wisdom about the role of animals on Earth and what the animals would like to tell us. Um, many of the dolphins tend to be scientists and their scientists earth changes in some kind of way where um, they often will go off and have meetings and talk about how to bring more information through to, to humans. Um, I think their uh, whales also help to balance the energies that are coming through and there are many, many energies coming onto the planet, um, raising the vibration. In vielen Naturreligionen und esoterischen, tierischen Glaubensrichtungen findet man die immer gleiche Aussage wieder. Die Tiere seien zu uns geschickt als Lehrer. Und jeder Mensch wird das Tier finden oder von dem Tier gefunden werden, das ihm als Lehrer dient. Es kommt auf uns Menschen an, diese Rolle des Tieres in unserem Leben zu erkennen. They've been given to us to teach us something about us too. Because there are times when we're very intolerant of our own species. And a dog isn't. A dog never judges you. It'll respond to what you do, but it never see you as a bad person. Humans can't always say sorry. You know, this is the most forgiving animal on the planet. Animals are more than just beings with whom we share our world. They are ever concerned for our welfare and bless us. We need to completely change our idea of animals. Completely. And when you're as, as sensitive as, as I am, you can sit there with a herd of horses and you feel the gift that they're giving you. Do you remember Finn the dog, who is the canine companion of one of our New Zealand Association members? He had the following message for the world as interpreted by Faye Rogers, an internationally recognized New Zealand-based telepathic 
animal communicator. We have evolved as great souls, and we're still evolving, moving forward and are placed here on the great planet of Mother Earth. The lady who cares for us, tends to us and fosters us, and this is the great mother of this planet, the life force of living here. And it is so beautiful, so incredibly beautiful to be here, to experience such greatness of how far the world has evolved, how the humans have evolved. There is now an age where people are saying we must preserve what we have, we must treasure what we have. It is a time of changes, great changes, and it is all good. Life has to go forward, life will go forward, life will steadily improve. And it is the time of great changes, for many and for the great Mother Earth herself. This past year was also filled with inspirational stories of courageous individuals such as Captain Paul Watson, founder and president of the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, who has devoted over 30 years to preserving the lives of marine animals. I believe that whales actually have the ability to transmit visual images between each other. Uh, their communication skills are vastly superior to ours. The number of actual components of humpback whale language, about two million on that, putting it together. Another Shining World Hero Award laureate is young Clayton Williams of Texas, USA, who risked his life to rescue a little kitten. When I seen the cat, I climbed up a different tree to see if I could reach it from that tree, but I couldn't. So I climbed back down and climbed up the tree it was in, got to the limb, kept going to the back of the limb. I did not want to go anywhere else. I wanted to stay right there. The world is truly filled with many people who wish to help our animal friends. Eddie and Leslie Grinnell, the delightful saints at Eddie's Wheels in the United States, build custom-made carts to keep disabled animals rolling. What we learned from the animals is that they, they have no self-consciousness. They're not proud. They're not thinking about what people are going to think of them. Yeah, yeah. And um, when we set a dog up in a cart, they turn around, they look at the wheels, they say, hmm, look at that, I'm standing up. Hmm, yeah. my back end is up where it belongs. Okay. And sometimes yeah. I have to give them a cue, you know, sometimes I have to pull them forward and then, oh, those wheels, those wheels are following me. <laughs> and then they take off. We call it the five-second learning curve. Secret World Wildlife Rescue in the UK is widely known for its steadfast dedication and devotion to saving the lives of wild animals and Supreme Master Ching Hai has honoured the group with the Shining World Compassion Award. We're very lucky in Somerset, it's actually got a huge variety of, of wildlife here and, and a very high concentration too, so we go right from the smallest pipistrelle bat up to the roe and the red deer as well and that really goes across the species of, of birds um, we do hares, we do rabbits, um, particularly badgers, foxes, um, stoats and weasels sometimes occasionally come in as well lots of mice and, and as far as we're concerned it doesn't matter how tiny things are we believe that they have the right to help if they need our help and the aim is always to get them back to the wild Wing Thi Bit Vang, a Shining World Compassion Award recipient from Olak or Vietnam, who devotes her life to caring for homeless dogs, shared a lesson she learned from them. Thì học hỏi sự thương yêu đó mà, mà học hỏi khi cần á thì cũng phải thương, mà khi không cần cũng phải thương yêu chứ đừng có nửa đường mà bạc đãi này nọ sống có tình thương vậy đó, cái vật nó cũng vậy, sống nó cũng có tình thương, mình thấy cái vật nó thương lắm.
and our hearts were warmed by Wendy Huntbatch, who introduced us to some 800 rescued parrots under her care at the World Parrot Refuge in Canada. At night, you should see them. They sit together in, in twos uh, and they preen each other and you just know how close they are to each other. Nobody should ever be alone in this world and they never are when they come here. But they're just amazing. In the great East African nation of Uganda, the Uganda Wildlife Education Center rescues all types of wildlife and then releases the animals back into their natural habitats after a period of veterinary care and rehabilitation. The parrots usually like fruits, mangoes, uh, pawpaws, avocado sometimes, they are vegetarian birds. Then they also eat uh, these seeds, fresh seeds like sorghum, rice, millet, all these grains, maize, corn. They like passion fruit, oh my god, they like passion fruit. They like purpose and then sugar cane. They enjoy sugar cane, that's their number one priority here, they like sugar cane. And Supreme Master Ching Hai, who is a living example of pure love and compassion, always gives thoughtful, caring attention to even the smallest of animals. Aren't you beautiful? You're amazing. I'm glad you enjoy your food. If I go away, I will leave you some food for winter. You try to find it, okay? I leave them in the same spot. Come back every day. I put some bags of food and you eat them gradually. I put them on above the ground. We are deeply grateful to the inspiring guests and noble animal heroes who have made the past year such an exciting one. They have brought inspiration and joy and lit the path for all to follow. May they all help quickly lead us into a bright, happy future in a peaceful, vegan world. I'd like to congratulate Supreme Master Television with five years of broadcasting the vegan message of peace to the whole world. I hope as many people as possible will understand that vegan is a peace movement. It's not just a diet. I think that Supreme Master Ching Hai and Supreme Master Television is doing an exemplary job in to communicate this vital message, an urgent message, to as many people as possible. Gentle viewers, thank you for joining us today on this special anniversary edition of Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants may all be touched by heaven's everlasting grace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.